of Social Day and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create a Snapchat geo filter for your local event, your local business or for your town. To create your own Snapchat geo filter the first thing you're going to need to do is to go on to snapchat.com and at the top of the page you'll see it says Want your own Snapchat Geo filter? Yes, please. So we're going to click on that and we're having a look at this page. And as you can see, you can create a filter for yourself, your personal self, or for your business, whether it's for a house party, a wedding, a coffee shop, a campus event. Geo filters are easy for Snapchatters who are there to send um, your message to trends. So basically, people can see what's going on and you can get your brand out there even more. Um, especially it's for, if it's for a local event such as Social Day that we're doing in Tunbridge Wells and in Birmingham. So we've done one already for Tunbridge Wells and I'm going to show you how I'm going to create one for Birmingham event and how easy it is. So as you can see here, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to design your uh, geo filter, which is easy enough. I'll show you how to do this on Snapchat. And then you need to pick the space, the area on the map that you want your geo filter sh to show up. So it could be around your venue or near where your event's going to be. So it's going to let people know about um, what's happening and... Um, if it's happening on the day of your event, of course, you can get lots of people to take selfies with that, um, you know, with that geo filter on Snapchat as well. And then, you, then it's going to cost money, so you're going to have to pay for um, how much, you know, how much area you want um, on the Snapchat map, basically. But it's very, very low co cost. It's a really, really, really good investment. Um, so first of all, you need to go on to um, use click that button to go in. It's, it, it will take you through to accounts.snapchat.com, and what you do is you log in with your login details. And then here you can see it says um, you can choose your file to upload. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go onto canva.com and create our geo filter. Now you can either download a template here which will give you the files you need to create it in Photoshop. But I'm creating this in canva.com because it makes it more accessible for everybody who doesn't actually have Photoshop as well. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go onto Snap. Snapchat.com, um, Canva.com actually, and we're going to use custom dimensions to create this Snap, um, this Snap Geo filter. And the size that we're going to use is going to be one zero eight zero by one nine two zero. So we're going to click use custom dimensions. So we get these boxes up, and we're going to go to one zero nine zero, and then one nine two zero, and then we click design. Now here we are in Canva and we've got the right size that we need. Now it's best that you have Canva for work because you're going to now need to download this as a transparent file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose um, some shapes and that kind of thing to make it look interesting, might feel to look interesting. Because I'm a business, uh, I'm going to use the Social Day logo as well in, in just a second. But you can have a play around, like you can see, I'm going to put some little hearts, because hearts are like likes for social media. And um, you can also choose any shape or any text or anything that you like, something that doesn't cover the whole screen and it looks interesting. And, um, you know, and it's, and it's relevant to your event as well. And, you know, if it's, if it's just for your local town, it could be something representative of your local town, for example. But you can just, you can just, as you can see, you can just be in Canva, you can have a play around with it. It's very, very easy to use, like you would normally if you use Canva.com. So, <clears throat> get the images how you want. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to use my logo because I want my brand associated with this geo filter. And this is going to show up in Birmingham. So people know Social Day is, is, is going to be in Birmingham and uh, it's, it's a good way for me to promote my event. But also on the day in Birmingham, what I will do is I have a Snapchat chat filter available for people to use so that they can share the event and uh, help to potentially get it, get it trending. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to do. And you can do this, the whole thing, from beginning to end in 10 minutes. And you can spend, you know, very, very little money. So here I'm just putting the dates in for my, for my event so that people know, you know, when it's happening. 23rd of May, 2016 in Birmingham.
and then when I download it, I'm going to download it as a high quality PNG. But first of all, I'm going to go on to um, download with a transparent background, and it has to be transparent because otherwise, it won't overlay the image that somebody takes. If somebody's taking a selfie and they're using this geo filter, you want to make sure they can be seen. And I'm not sure that Snapchat would even accept it if it didn't have a transparent background. So now I've downloaded the file, I can then go and open it and see what it see what it looks like and it, and it looks like this. So it's a very, very simple, uh, very, very simple design, but it's got my branding on it and everything else. So now I'm gonna go back to that choose file on Snapchat. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click choose file and I'm gonna choose that Snapchat filter. And this is what it's gonna look like. Fantastic, hey? Next, and now we're going to choose how um, how many days and how long this, this filter is going to be available for and however long we do it for it's going to impact on how much it's going to cost. So then we need to type in the location of where we want it to show up and for, for me it's going to be in Birmingham and um, actually I'm going to choose it to be around the venue as well. So it's the studio Cannon Street Birmingham and this is the area that I want it to show up in. So now you can draw a fence around the area that you want this geo filter to, to you know be available in to, to your snappers or to people who are you know using Snapchat for example. So what you're going to do is you're going to like I said draw a fence around it, you click the area you want to use and um, you need to do, draw a polygon around it like so or you know whatever shape you want really as long as it all attaches up properly so if you do it like this it's going to go red and if it's red I'll show you this in just a second if it goes red then this is not this is not worked out properly so you need to make sure it's really clean and there's no overlaps in the area that you choose like so so as you can see this is red and this is this area is not right so it's not coming up with a cost and that kind of thing for us um, but we can still name it it's the social day Birmingham is what this filter is going to be called. So now let's just go back and, and have a look and just, just sort this out to make it so that it goes green. So this is green and the area that we've chosen is 211,000 feet. So for a few days, so it's quite, you know, it's, it's quite pricey. It's like $900. Um, I don't think I'm ready to spend quite that much. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take Take, change the days down just to a couple of days to see how it goes and, um, and I'm going to decrease the size around this area as well to make it a little bit smaller and uh, make it a little bit more cost effective for me um, so it, it is cheap as chips if you're you know using a very specific small area where you're going to be in um, the only thing is it might not be 100% accurate but if if you know if you do it from your home or you know your your work or your office you can always try it out for a couple of pounds to see you know if it how it's worked out for you and if it's worked I mean for, for the sake of a couple of pounds it's well worth it so that is only 17 dollars 17 US dollars and in UK pounds I think that's about 10 pound or something like that so so it's very cheap and that's for um you know 24 hours 10 pound for 24 hours so if, it, if my event was happening on that day that would be you know 20 quid well spent you know or 10 pound well worth spending so I'm going to add all my payment details in there and submit and then what will happen after I've submitted this it says thank you we've submitted you submitted your order and we'll let you know when it's been approved and you'll get an email through when it's been approved letting you know that um, you know that it's all worked out well this is one we made for Kent on the 18th of May and that's currently available in Tunbridge Wells letting people know um, when that social day event is happening so this has been a snapchat tu tutorial how to create a snapchat geo filter thank you very much for joining me if you have any questions you you can find us over at socialday.co.uk